and welcome Virgo. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Virgo, we're going to be taking a look into love, but if anything else comes out, of course, I'm going to take it for you. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation, and that's perfectly okay. Just take what does, and don't stress about the rest. Alright, Virgo. I keep getting somebody's curiosity being piqued. <laughs> um, we have the death card. Bottom of the deck, let me flip that around. We have the strength card. All right. So we have the page of wands, ace of cups, page of swords, and then we have the death card. So, um, like I said, I kept getting somebody's curiosity being piqued. Um, I don't know if this is about a person. I don't know if this is within a relationship. I don't know if these are just feelings coming up to the surface, but I get curiosity. Um, Ace of Cups, it does kind of feel like there's some feelings here. Uh, this could be something new. This could possibly be something from your past, um, but I feel like it's something new. With the Ace of Cups, I do get, you know, again, kind of exploring. I keep getting curiosity. I keep getting new beginning as far as love goes, relationship goes. With the Page of Swords, this could be you or this could be your person um, wanting to reach out. Or I feel like for some of you, you've already gotten a message. Maybe somebody, you know, kind of slid into those DMs and, um, you know, was just kind of flirting with you, get sending out some flirty messages or something. And you're kind of debating, like, do I want a message back? I do feel like this is a new beginning, but I also kind of feel like something needs to be put to rest. Uh, this could be, this could be a number of things. This could be insecurities. This could be fears. This could be doubts. This could just be, you know, like maybe you're not wanting to reach out to this person because you're trying to change. Like, you know, it's like maybe they're not your usual type. Or, you know, that's what you want. <laughs> you don't want to date the usual type that you date. Because it's like, I seem to attract this certain type of person. I don't want that anymore. Like, I want to attract somebody new. And you're kind of noticing, like, a few traits or something about this person. So maybe that's why you're on the fence, too. Um, for others of you, it's kind of like, okay, I don't normally date this, you know, this, this type of person. But, again, I kept getting curiosity being piqued. So I feel like it's going to go either way for you, but I do feel like there's curiosity here. I also feel like there's some interest in feelings, like I said, in the beginning, in love. All right, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let's clarify the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands, we have the Six of Swords, and we have the Four of Wands. So I definitely feel like somebody is taking action here. Somebody is wanting to kind of move things forward, wanting to, um, you know, take things, see where they can kind of go. I, I do get something about um, holidays, like you're going to be with some, you're going to be with this person um, during the holidays. So, and I'm still going to take some timing cards too, just, you know, because not everybody is going to be with their person during the holidays, but I am going to take those timing cards as well. Um, but yeah, but I feel like, you know, again, these are, somebody's taken action. Um, I kind of feel like they've sent a message recently or they're going to be sending a message anytime. Like I said, I keep getting curiosity. I keep getting... I also keep getting you being on their mind. Like, I don't know if you've been thinking about this person too, but they're definitely thinking about you here, Virgo. All right, clarifying the Ace of Cups, we have the Fool card, we have the Hermit card, and we have the King of Wands. Yeah, so there is some excitement here. There is definitely some, some chemistry here. Um, like I said, curiosity. But yeah, it's coming across, like I said, as curiosity, um, wanting a new beginning, wanting to take a chance. You know, somebody's just like, I got to take this chance. And do you know that? Um, uh, okay, hold on. Let me let me get it in my head here. What's popping? Don't mind me just watching that whole thing. I keep getting that for this for this situation. I It kind of feels like Virgo, like you're just minding your own business. You're doing your own thing. Your focus is elsewhere. And this person is kind of like watching you. Like they're just kind of seeing like what you're up to, kind of waiting to make their move. Or it's like they've made their move. Now they're waiting to see your reaction or, you know, something along those lines. I'm like they're waiting to hear back from you. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know. It almost kind of feels like this person 
is either just like watching you or just like waiting for you. Like something along those lines is what I keep getting. But I do feel action is being taken and I feel it's coming in from their side. Um, you know, I keep getting like, you know, you're just kind of, and here is, you know, the hermit card. Um, I don't know. It just kind of feels like you're doing your own thing. And it's like, this person's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the chance. Let's see. All right. Page of swords. We have the four of swords. Queen of Swords and the Moon card. So you could be, you know, taking a little bit of a break, a little bit of a pause from relationships. Um, like I said, just kind of focus in, doing your own thing, doing you. Um, this can also just be kind of like, you know, I've got a lot going on and now I'm just going to chill, you know, kind of getting yourself together. You know, Queen of Swords, again, I keep getting communication coming in. Um, with the Moon card, <laughs> you know, I do get, um, I, I get somebody like fantasizing about you. Um, at night, it's not even, it doesn't even feel like dreams. It, it does feel like fantasies, but it's more coming across as like even kind of daydreaming, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I feel like this person, like I said, has reached out. They want to talk to you. They're hoping you want to talk to them. They're hoping you give them a chance. Um, but there is some nervousness here. I keep getting butterflies, you know, in your stomach or in their stomach, something because I keep getting nervousness. Yeah. I keep getting like, they hope they, you know, like, they hope you respond. All right. With the death card, I don't know what you have to offer, Virgo. Well, of course, you have a lot to offer. But something is really, really driving this person crazy. Like, they're trying to be patient, but they are, they're excited. They're curious. They're like, Virgo, show me what you're working with. <laughs> All right. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the World card. So again, I feel like this person wants to get to know you. I feel like they, they do want to have a good time. Um, but the eight of swords is, again, I keep getting like freeing you up, um, or freeing them up, kind of getting somebody out of their mind, kind of taking someone out of their, their comfort zone in a way. But this is also start starting about, or talking about like starting something fun, something, um, something worth celebrating, something fun, like getting out of that kind of serious mood, which I kind of feel like you're, you're really kind of in right now, Virgo. Like I said, it's, you're kind of coming across to me, like all business, just like serious, trying to get things in order, you know, holidays, of course, that's like a stressful time for everybody. Um, you know, but I, I feel like you're, you're really kind of serious right now. And this person's like, don't be so serious. Like this person is trying to bring in the fun, trying to bring in the excitement. Um, you know, again, I feel like this person's really curious about you. This person wants to get to know you, uh, with the world card here and the death card. I do feel like this is a new chapter. I feel like you're, you're moving forward. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person wants to move forward with you. So, all right, let's get some Oracle here. And then I will get into the other cards. So Mr. or Miss Fix-It. Let me go ahead and move that over there. So don't try to fix others. Heal yourself to attract best partners. Uh, people pleasing and just trust the process. So definitely most important, hardest lesson I've ever had to learn is you cannot people please. You're No matter how hard you try, you're not going to please everybody. And then you're just going to be left kind of figuring out like, okay, who am I? You know, like I did that for so long. Who am I now? Uh, the Grim Reaper. So relationship is over. No second chances. Growing and transforming your life. So yeah, so I do feel like, and I was kind of picking that up from the get-go, um, but it was hard for me to place it. So somebody here has definitely left a relationship behind. Maybe that's why you're focused on just doing your own thing and just kind of focused on, you know, healing because that Four of Swords was here. So I'm kind of feeling like that's what you were focusing on. Um, and maybe that's why they're, they're shooting their shot, but there's that nervousness because, you know, you just got out of a relationship, so they don't know how you're going to react. They don't know. Cause like I said, I get somebody just kind of like watching or, you know, like waiting, like really impatiently, um, for your reaction. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I do feel like there's growth, there's transformation, but there's also healing taking place, but this is a new change. Like I said, I do feel like this is a new chapter in your life with this person. We also have stoked. So riding the wave of positive manifestation, excited, dream comes true and, uh, or dream come true and then great things happening. So like I said, you know, one thing is ending, but that's bringing new beginnings, new opportunities, excitement, passion, manifestations, dream coming true. You know, great things are going to be happening here. 
We also have thinking. So time is needed. Don't make reactive or impulsive decisions. Consider all perspectives. So this is kind of saying like, you know, Virgo, do you first, okay? Don't feel the pressure. And I don't think this person wants you to feel pressured or wants you, you know, um, I mean, they want you to be honest with them. Like, you know, I'm just not feeling this right now. Give me some time or, you know, let me, I'll take you up on your offer, but can we just like maybe grab, you know, bite to eat or, you know, something like that first and, you know, just kind of see where it goes. Um, but I do feel like you are thinking on things. I also feel like I said, I was picking up very heavily that you are very much on this person's mind. We also have heart with a key. So welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. So like I said, don't overthink things though, Virgo. Very important. Don't overthink. But, you know, it's okay to take your time as well. Um, but like I said, I do feel like you are going to be welcoming love. I do feel like this person is a good person for you because they're bringing back some fun, some spontaneity, some um, excitement, some curiosity, you know, all that fun stuff where I feel like you've been really serious and really just focused on healing. Again, absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's what you needed to do. That's your path. But this person's bringing in more to open up that new beginning, that new opportunity with. So definitely, I feel it's worth taking. Um, twin flames. So yin yang, zen, balance, union, um, you know, coupling, complementing, complementing each other, duality, all that fun stuff. I do feel like this person could possibly be a twin flame or a soulmate. However, I just feel it is some kind of soul connection, something that this person is coming in, wanting to teach you, wanting to show you, but also giving you a new opportunity. Um, and again, restoring some kind of balance. With core values, we have seek partners who core, whose core values align with your own, meet your tribe at places of interest to you. So this could be, you know, you meeting someone that you like to go to hang out. You know, this could be anywhere. Um, this could also meet, you know, be meeting up at a, a place that you both like to hang out at or, you know, things you like to do, um, football game or um, bowling, you know, ski ball, like whatever this is, whatever this is, you know, reading concert, whatever. I feel like, you know, again, this is, this is a good time. This is you, um, getting pulled out of your shell a little bit, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. All right. So let's see what Zodiac signs are coming towards you. And I'm going to pick like three. Um, just because this is a general reading. So obviously it doesn't have to be any of these signs, but just trying to look in, trying to get for somebody here, Virgo. <laughs> I swear through each sign, their own sign has come out. Uh, we also have Cancer. One more for Virgo, please. Capricorn. All right, Capricorns are very, very... Um, all over the place. Bottom of the deck is Sagittarius. All right, so those are the signs. Let's go ahead and let's get some traits about this person that's coming towards you. What can you tell me about this person coming towards Virgo? Some traits about this person coming towards Virgo. We have a flipper. We have medium complexion. We have basic, <laughs> so they may look kind of plain, kind of basic, but underneath I keep getting firecracker. So, you know that saying, never judge a book by its cover. Piercing eyes. So it looks like this person is looking right through you. I keep getting water sign and you do have cancer actually. Feminine. So we've got a feminine. Ooh, ooh. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right, so I dropped some cards. So let me show you. Adventurous, attractive, uh, dyed hair or red hair. And let me look at the bottom. Uh, we have short hair. So. Now, not all of you are going to resonate with everything. Your person may only have one thing. Um, your person, you know, may just be attractive to you. Your person may just be adventurous. And going back to adventurous, like I said, I know we got the card of basic. So like I said, don't judge a book by its cover because I do feel like this person is quite the little firecracker. All right. So now let's get into some timing cards. So when can, when will this person be coming towards Virgo? 
we have not the right time and like I said I feel like that's just because you are still doing some healing or you're just kind of focusing like you know maybe not sure what you want right now things like that so but I kind of feel like you're getting out of that that mood of it's not the right time and I feel like you're focusing <laughs> November yeah it just kind of feels like you're focusing on you or doing your things right now but like I said I feel like it's going to be changing um, because then we have not the right time but then it's like November so you may feel it's not the right time but the universe says otherwise <laughs> We also have spring, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have days. So this could be days. We're already in November, so anytime this month. Um, springtime is here because springtime can represent new beginnings. Um, or this could be just like things start getting serious in springtime. It could be a number of things. Um, however, you know, I'm feeling more like November and the days and everything. And I'm feeling like this is more kind of like a new beginning. So, all right. That is what I have for you guys. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And as always, take care.